Hi YouTube. <laughs> Back again, another crappy, crappy, crappy iPad vlog. Um, not a lot going on. Um, no gym today, unfortunately. I was made excuses and just didn't go. I honestly didn't feel like walking to the gym, so I didn't go. Um, now, I know to a lot of you, you're going to be thinking now, come on, get with the program, make yourself go and be accountable for it. And I am to a degree. Um, my promise for this month at least was to go to the gym at least ten times, and I've already been seven in the last two weeks. So, um... I only have three more sessions, I think, until I meet my goal of ten times in the month. Of course, I want to beat that. I want to do twelve if I can. It would be fantastic. But, um, but yeah, I just today I just couldn't do it. And I think uh, definitely tomorrow I'm going to the gym and possibly Wednesday and most definitely Friday. So that's three more days this week. So... That's fine, I can handle that. I'm still eating healthy, I'm still doing everything fine. I'm not committing a sin. <laughs> um, it's just because I'm doing these daily vlogs sometimes, um, I have to be accountable for not going to the gym. And it's okay not to go to the gym, it's just don't make it a habit. That's the biggest thing. Like I find when I'm losing weight and I'm doing really well, I slack off and that slacking off becomes a habit and it just... It's like a snowball running down a hill. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And so does your waistline. And you can't get it back, no matter how much you try. Um, so, yeah, if if you start seeing my videos becoming consecutive, I didn't go to the gym, get on my case and whip my ass to the gym, please. Because I need it. I definitely need it. Um, yeah. What I'm doing right at this very moment is I'm on my computer actually looking at... Sorry. Ah! Thumb on the iPad, not a good idea. Um, I don't know if I can show you. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, I'm actually on myfitnesspal.com. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Anyway. Um, I'm on my fitness... Hello Kitty, get over there. I'm on myfitnesspal.com right now, and I'm looking through groups um, for motivation. Um... Just getting involved in the actual forum community. I'm a big gamer online, as in um, I like to... Um, I actually run a website that is a, um, a literate role-playing game, um, which basically means we're writing stories um, according to a specific genre. Um, and so I love forums and um, interacting with people online. So I thought, well, why not give this a go and even though I have YouTube and I'm uploading every day it wouldn't hurt to have this forum as well and have it like extend my my net out to people who can motivate and inspire me to lose weight and I'm already looking on there some great groups I mean there's some Aussies on there and I'm all for Aussies being stuck here in Japan with very small amount of Aussies um there's a YouTube group even on there there's a couple of new YouTubes I haven't seen so I'm adding them to my subscriptions tonight um uh, what else there's challenges and stuff, and just, just the community feel, just talking about losing weight, and just feeling like you're not alone. That's the biggest thing. Um, I've been noticing lately, though, um, this is totally off subject. This has got nothing to do with the MyFitnessPal. This is just me rambling and thinking about things on the spot. Um, I've been finding myself getting hungry a lot more lately. Um... Now, I can be eating more. I'm under my calorie goal every day by about 800 calories. The problem is, I don't like... I have a snack in the afternoon, and I have a dessert sort of thing that comes after dinner. Um, but the thing is, I have no time in the rest of the day to actually eat. And I don't want to snack extra in between lunch and... Um, and dinner because one snack is more than enough um, but I'm still feeling really hungry and um, I don't know I think it's probably maybe it's a little bit to do with the boredom in the food that I'm eating because I have a habit of when I'm on a diet or any time I get really obsessed with a certain like schedule of food and I eat that constantly 
and um, to the point where I get sick of it and then I don't want to eat it anymore. So if you have any, um, sorry, I have an itchy ear. <laughs> if you have any recipes that are really good, um, mainly what I'm eating at the moment is, um, I'll go into more detail, like another time I'll do an actual day in the life of my food vlog or something like that. But at the moment I'm having salad basically for lunch. Um, and I'm having, um, chicken and salad and such for dinner. Um, I'm limiting my intake of red meat because I have high cholesterol and um, just limiting my meat intake in total because of the cholesterol business and whatnot. Um, so if you have any really nice recipes that are simple and easy to make, I don't have an oven. I only have um, a cooktop. In Japan, they don't have a lot of ovens. So um, I don't have an oven, so don't give me any baking recipes. It's not going to work for me. But if you have any like stir fries or anything that be cooked in a fry pan, um, would be great. I would love to see some different um, low-fat chicken meals. Um, I would really appreciate them. So if you can leave comments below or links to recipes or something, that would be really great. I really appreciate it. And um, back tomorrow, hopefully it'll be after the gym and I'll have something to talk about. Um, if not, then you get another boring vlog listening to me ramble on about nothing at all. Except for asking for your chicken recipes, please. <laughs> I'm still enjoying your vlogs, guys. Um, it's great. It keeps me posting every day, um, keeping me responsible for what I'm doing. And I think just thinking about dieting is enough to make me want to do it and to keep me on track. So thank you very much, everyone, for your vlogs and your comments and support and stuff. It's been great. On that note, I'm leaving. Six minutes. Bye-bye.